Morris the cat, the most well-fed and best-advertised cat on the media in the 60s, right? I'd like to, first of all, thank you for being here and extend a very hearty and warm thank you to Fire Prometheus for being such good friends and being so supportive and encouraging to me uh, and inspiring to me. Fire Prometheus were my introduction to street poetry in Boston when I came to Harvard Square to read, to debut on the street for the first time on my own on the evening of the last day of summer, 1986. And I met Fire Prometheus. I stood in the doorway of the flower shop in Harvard Square and exploded <laughs> with feelings some of which I was able to capture a glimmer of in words on papyrus. <laughs> Tonight I want to review some of my poetics under construction. The name of my show, although not well advertised here in print, may be known in times coming as the Letters of Credence. And this evening I want to begin with something from the Tao Te Ching. That which shrinks must first expand. That which fails must first be strong. That which is cast down must first be raised. Before receiving, there must be giving. This is called perception of the nature of things. Soft and weak overcome hard and strong. Fish cannot leave deep waters. And a country's weapons should not be displayed. Whoa. raise my arms when I feel there's a moment of space in which a lot of noise may be made if it is felt to be made. <laughs> I, I feel the need for some space if we allow space to be. Now, some space between one verse and another. I want to hark back to the time in my life just about a year and a half ago, the summer of 1986. And to my beginning anew, my self-expression through poetry, following a dramatic, remarkable, and miraculous transformation experience that occurred to me through the summer of 1986. This is a very spiritual experience for me, and it took me by surprise. You know, I feel a little funny reading some of my works from this period of time right as this was occurring and after it was most intense. And I may not be reading much of this in the future, so I want to read now. From July 12th, 1986. I hear a cracked shot, cracked pot, a double barrel punchline, a rifle man of nonsense. My face is cut in two again. My mind is put out half again. My words are splitting, toothy grin. <laughs> My heart is on having the game. My new ID, a numbered name. My head has on a hat again. 
He floors me with his kicks, and he tears me up with tricks. Maybe all of us may freely gain. Maybe we would cry again. Out of the rain. But his smiles are his best tricks. Double talking laughter for the people's fix. So he could not help us awake. There's no alarm in media jinx. Sleeping citizens at our jobs. And leisure time, which is at stake. The uninformed will not awake, nor slobs, nor snobs. As if we dream we have a president who would care for our self-government. So now, some of us sing along another very funny song. And it is we who love the present. Hooray again. And we don't want him to make us sorry. For he and we, and you and me, are normal American human beings, so just, so free, to always be. Hmm. But this land is our land, if we will it to ourselves, yes, so won't it be. Who then hears our plea? Some of us will sing along another really funny tune. This is actually life on Earth, not another TV cartoon. Uh -huh. I want to continue here with some of these pieces from this intense time that was for me, you know, a few weeks passing through this time. I'm sitting here with open ears and silent eyes, still forgetting my prayers. This is very rare. I have all my time to spare and nowhere special to go now. And again, I'm thinking too fast and still feeling too slow. Now we're ready to read the world through prayer and study. But first we ask you for your eternal touch of the truth and love. So many living in total lies enough. May we find our reading through life above. Forever over reality with your helping, our growing understanding of how well to be. Lord, all men you know, you see. It's been genuinely quiet, save for my steps on the street tonight. I would straight away let you know, we are sure that was not so. Oh dear, do drop, just falling in my eye. Between you and the rising sun, I see a rainbow in the sky. Those are from July of 86. This is from July of 86. We have ants in our pants every day, and our skin is crawling on our bones every way. We still must live the dance anyway, to survive, to live and let live in Antarctica. Up here, you hear seven tales together in there too. Antarctica from Atlantis, wherefore we spoke of the wheel to you. Seven pure silver lakes upon nature's crown. Antarctica, my homeland then. We can't talk to you just now. 